Hello. Now this is going to be a double review. On one hand, I'm going to be reviewing these three beers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can tell the difference between them and see which one tastes better. Uh, so I'm going to pour these in a glass and then mix up the glasses and see Hopefully I'll mix them up so I don't know which is which and then see which one I like better. I don't, I don't think that I'd be able to pick which one is which because I don't know these beers very well. The other part of this review is this uh, Canon D5X camera. And that is, that is what I'm recording with right now. I just bought this camera a couple of days ago and it, it just arrived. And this video is a test of its video capabilities. So we'll see how clear, clear the video is. We'll see if we can tell a difference between the colors of the beer. And you know, these, these beers may all be colored quite differently and I'd be able to tell which one's which based on the color. So we'll see. If that's the case, then there's no need to mix them up. So this is, uh, this is called Mission Lager. This is a non-adjunct lager. And that's the thing these beers all have in common. They're, they're American Pale Lagers. They're not adjunct lagers like Budweiser and Miller. This is made from Whitman, Whitman Brothers in uh, Portland, Oregon, I believe. It's 4.6 ABV. Whitmer, Whitmer Brothers, Portland, Portland, Oregon. So, let's pour it and see how it looks. Quite your stereotypical pale lager. And then we have Michelob, original lager. It's a twist off. No, it isn't. So, Michelob Pale Lager, it's supposed to be a step up from your Budweiser and Bush, which are adjunct lagers. Budweiser is made with rice, Bush is made with corn as their adjunct. This is made with malted barley, I believe. Anyway, this is a 5% ABV, it's made in St. Louis. And it's supposed to be brewed in the style of a, a Munich style lager, is what it says on the on the bottle. And here we have Yingling. And this, let's see. It's an amber beer. Real amber beer beer. Yingling Sun, Pottsville, Pennsylvania Pennsylvania. I'm not sure what the ABV is. It's either 5 or 4.6 or something like that. And I'm twist off too. Alright. Well, there's clearly a difference here between these. As you can see, the Yingling is the darkest. The uh, Mission appears to be the lightest. It's difficult to tell. They're very similar, but I would say that the Michelob is just a little bit darker than the Yingling, uh, than the Mission. So, Let's see how they smell. It has a faint aroma. Kind of a bread aroma. With the Michelob, I don't smell anything. Maybe it's just me. Mission. I don't smell anything with this either. 
So, looks like the mission has a bit more of a head retained on it. And pretty much nothing with the Miklo and the Yingling, not much there. Well, let's taste them. Comes, kind of seems to be a bit of a smoke flavor in there. Got more of a bite. But a typical American lock flavor. I reviewed this against Budweiser and Miller and it was difficult to tell the difference between this and Budweiser and Miller. In one case, when they were cold, this seemed flatter or more watery than Budweiser and Miller. After a while, when they warmed up, this one was better. It's difficult to tell the difference between that and Michelob. Michelob has more of a bitter aftertaste than the Union. The mission is, is smooth, smoother than the Michelob. The Michelob's definitely got the most bite out of the three. The, uh, the Yingling is darker and it, it tastes darker. But then again, you know, I, it, is it psychological? Because it's, it is darker than the other two? I don't know. But as I said, there seems to be kind of a smoky flavor to it. Just slight, just a hint. It's smooth going in and it's smooth going down. Not much of an aftertaste. It definitely has a more, more powerful taste to it, a stronger taste than this. And the Yingling, you know, now that I've had a few drinks out of each of these, it's really, I'm not really even detecting that smoky flavor anymore. It tastes just like the Michelob. I can't really tell the difference between them. So, what this serves, serves to show is that the same style of beer, there's virtually very little to no difference between them. For instance, Budweiser and Miller High Life, I tasted them side by side, you can't tell the difference between them. So, all the brand loyal beer drinkers who only drink Budweiser and say Miller stuff, well, they're stupid because they taste the same. You can't tell the difference between them. Now, these three are also very similar. They're all the same style of beer, I believe. Pale lagers, American pale lagers. The only difference appears to be in the appearance. Yingling is darker than the rest. Does darker equate to better tasting? It could, maybe, maybe not. 
There's difference in alcohol content. Michelob is five, 4.6 for the mission. So, based on that alone, I would prefer the Michelob over the mission because they taste pretty much the same. I mean, this is a little bit smoother. Michelob has a little bit more of a harsh taste to it. And it's very similar to the Yingling, which also, I believe, might have an ABV under five. I'm not sure. It doesn't say here on the bottle, or does it? I can't freaking see it. I have to look it up. But uh, this, I doubt this is more than five. It's probably five or 4.6 or 4.8, 4.9, something like that. And then also with these beers, the taste changes a little bit as they warm up. As I said, warm Michelob is, seems to be better to me than warm Budweiser or warm Miller Lite or Miller High Life. But cold Budweiser and cold Miller High Life seem to be better than cold Michelob. And these beers are, are right out of the refrigerator, so they're cold now. So, once again, if you see my other beer reviews, they taste pretty much the same. Sit here, drink them side by side, and it's nearly impossible to tell one from the other, other than what I already mentioned. And if I didn't know which was which, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one was which. That is, if I mixed the glasses up. But I didn't see any point in mixing the glasses up since we have a dark one and I would have known right away which one it was. Yeah, I, I think there is more of a smoky taste of this one than the Michelob. So, of the three, I'd probably buy the Michelob just because it has more AB, uh, more, a higher percentage of ABV. But, if this Yingling has 5% ABV, then really, really it's a toss-up. I mean, this is only 4.6. That's not a whole lot. We're talking about the four tenths of a percent of alcohol. So you're going to get just as drunk drinking this as you will this. But still, if I'm drinking for the alcohol, and who who doesn't drink beer for the alcohol? Five percent is about the lowest I want to go. So I usually say that. Anything below 5% is for kids. Well, that's about all I have to say about this. And uh, now you see how the camera, how it records movies. I'm, I'm sitting here in my kitchen. Um, it's dark outside. I have two lights on in here. Um, so this room is not real bright. Um, and I, I haven't looked at the video itself, so I can't comment on it. So that's up for you, up to you to decide the quality of the video. I, I have taken a photo with this camera and the photo came out well. So, I'm looking forward to taking this camera with me on my next trip. I'm going to be going to Russia pretty soon and uh, 
I plan on shooting a lot of photos and making a few videos as well. But I also have some pivot head video camera sunglasses that I wear and uh, I make videos with those as well. Those, those are handy for when you make videos at the airport, going through TSA and stuff like that because it's discreet. Now, it's not illegal or against the rules to record TSA as you're going through, but some some of those guys may not know the rules. So, I've, I've made videos of myself going through TSA and posted them on YouTube, and you might be able to find them if you search. And they were recorded with the pivot head eyewear. And uh, as far as I could tell, nobody knew the TSA agents didn't know that I was recording. And I don't really do that just in case the TSA was going to give me a bunch of shit and then I have a video to defend myself. I don't expect that to happen because the TSA, they're just people trying to do their jobs. They, they don't seem to be on a power trip to me. And if you don't act like, if you don't act like a douchebag, you're not going to get treated like a douchebag. I've never had any problems going through TSA. I've had more problems going through security in foreign airports. The uh, security in, in uh, Amsterdam, that, that's probably the worst. I mean, they check your passport multiple times. They, they, they're more likely to go through my bags than TSA or any other airport. So, it's like, Jesus, what are you guys afraid of? Anyway. That's all I have to say about that. I got the the beers reviewed and I've got the camera reviewed. So I hope you enjoyed the video and my ranting about nothing. So take care.